In this bonus track, psychologist Martin Wilkes shares a story of how life will find a way to bring about healing and balance after the storm. We're all very human and fallible, and yet we live in a society that rewards pretending we're not fallible, or the range of acceptable fallibility is narrow. We are constantly comparing our insides to other people's outsides and feeling inadequate and guilty, even ashamed. Trying to blend in means parts of ourselves will disappear, and we must then live in fear that we will be found out. Here, together, we will create a space where we can laugh, cry, and carry our suffering and hurts lightly. In the service of being deeply human. This is Life's Dirty Little Secrets. And then, then we'll finally get this thing launched and we'll be out in the world. Hey, hey, great stuff. Oh, well, I'm delighted to have been part of it at, at, at its beginning then. That's great. Ah, well, respects to you for, you know, getting in on it, really. I, I, the, the number of times I've bought bits of kit thinking I'm going to sort it out and, and, and never quite do, you know, um, you know, little video cameras. I, I quite like because I've I've got a wood just below where I live, which is wonderful, and it's become my place, really my special place in nature, and um, you know that's where I plant trees. But it's also where I go and sit and do my practice, and you know often big thoughts and ideas come to me, and it you know it feels like a good place to to just sit and have the the video running and the the sound running and just share some thoughts with uh, imaginary listeners but somehow don't quite get to it well but i mean that that sounds like a a wonderful place to gather inspiration and uh, have some input from the trees um, yeah mm. yeah that's a lovely way of putting it i've got a i've got a i have a shaman tree in the woods what um, kind of tree is that it, yeah well it is an oak um but it's an oak that i overlooked for for many years it was a bit of a runt <laughs> if you could think of it like that you know how trees have character and it was amongst a group of elders not elder as in trees but elder oaks a really gnarled old oak and and then this one probably about the same age but a bit of a runt look and it's uh, I feel I've got to send you a photograph of it. But but basically what I noticed probably after a year or so is that this tree had almost blown down. It was right on the ridge and we had a huge gale in the late 80s. It affected the whole of the UK. It's kind of famous and it's in our memory. Um, 1988, I think it was. And this particular wood was quite devastated by it and this particular oak tree was right on the ridge and exposed and it had it is toppled over with with its roots sort of sticking almost sticking out of the ground but one of its roots in my mind transformed its function and became a bow and that that root and the bow grew and and brought balance back to this this tree and when i saw it like that suddenly this runt tree beca- it became the place that i go to when i'm troubled and I'll, I'll lean against it and you know just just feel into what what natural kind of wisdom of the tree managed to change the function of a, of a root into a bough and bring wow. back bring back balance to the tree it just it's just a just a lovely thing yeah wow there's so much to unpack there <laughs> yes <laughs> i'll what a, great, what a great metaphor i mean it, it, they're everywhere if, if we're looking for them they are aren't they and they can be potentized you know by by believing in them really you know and 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 i, I think that's that's the way it goes. I've invited an arborealist up to look at the tree and see it through my eyes. And she, yeah, yeah, she, she liked it, but she didn't quite see it like that. Um, but uh, I will send you a photograph, Chris, uh, of this. I'd love to see it. Uh, of this tree. And, um, you know, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. And give it my greetings the next time you see it. All right. 
Yeah, <laughs> I will. Thanks so much for tuning into the Life's Dirty Little Secrets podcast. If you have any feedback for us or secrets for future episodes, you can email us at Life's Dirty Little Secrets podcast at gmail.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Life's Dirty Little Secrets or on Facebook at Life's Dirty Little Secrets podcast. We invite you to follow, rate and review us on wherever you listen to this podcast. It is the best way to get our podcast out in front of new listeners. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with more. See, See you, you then. then.